Hello, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, for those that don't know, I actually recently purchased a electric motorcycle. Um, this one exactly is the Cabo Mantis Pro uh, from Fluid Free <laughs> from FluidFreeRide.com. Um, but yeah, so I mean, for the first month. Uh, I actually wasn't riding it because I actually got a flat within the first three miles of the ride time uh, I did hit the company up but like I said due to shipping and all that I did have to end up waiting a little bit for the tube to come in uh, but now I have extras um, yeah I mean this is not a proper review at all either this is just me experiencing it uh, I'm right here in Griffith Park area right now where the fountains at if anybody knows where that at uh, but I used to come here a lot. Um, funny story, way back when, uh, me and my brother went swimming in there when my dad took us here. Um, but that was a really long time ago. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to do a little quick ride around the dirt. Uh, uh, shout out to RK9 Rides. Uh, who else? I guess Electric, because I wouldn't... They, they had pretty good reviews and... Uh, for example, I got the Pro, whereas RK9 got the uh, the base one. Um, and yeah, I mean, now that I look at it, I mean, I've always been the type of person to kind of want the best of the best thing, but have come to realize it's not necessary. But I mean, that helps out because I'm in LA, you know, and I kind of know how to get around. So I figured if I know where to go and if I have the energy to do that, uh, then you know it's more possible with more energy uh even though they get about the same because from what i get right now uh, i was at 100 percent uh, at the beginning of the day i'm currently at 88 but the voltage is going higher as it's been resting which is the weird part so in some sense i don't know if i already have the regen already on or if that's already standard how that goes um but if you let it cool down after a little bit of use, like right now, I just like probably went like 10, 15 minutes from work here. Um, and it's gone up uh, like two volts or amps, one of those two. But basically the, the it's at full percent at 67 volts or amps. And then it, it's, it's kaput at uh, 44, if I, if I remember correctly. So I still have a good amount of battery left. Uh, I haven't yet to see, I haven't gone to 50 yet. And I actually don't think I'll make it then. Um, I don't have a GoPro right now. So unfortunately I will have to wait on that. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm riding around the dirt. I am a little paranoid since I've already gotten a flat in the past. Um, I might pump some air into the tires. And well, in the back one, I guess needs a little bit more because i just switched it so also uh if you guys haven't seen my last video i did talk about how the rotors i guess were bent um i have tuned the brakes in a little bit uh when i'm going faster i don't know if it's because like it's hitting it so fast that i don't hear it or it just straightens out somehow just due to the road or just the rotation um but they sent me basically just like uh, or fluid free ride uh thank you mary for getting at me um i appreciate that uh with my concerns and um yeah so basically what i'm gonna try to do is buy a tool or maybe just do it myself with maybe something that i have in the house in my toolbox but i basically have to kind of like bend the rotor a little bit and the video that they sent me it was bicycle rotors and those are definitely a lot more flexible the bad thing about these is that they're definitely thicker and you know obviously if you turn it too much a certain way or playing it too much you might crack it or, or break it um so that would be one thing because i know uh someone was talking to me about r removing it and just placing it on a table flat and seeing if like there's any like bulges anywhere or any it's not it's basically just not laying flat on the thing and there's no way for me to know that because the the motors go through the the rotor or the motor wires i mean go through the rotor um i guess the best one to show would be the front one um if you could see in there if it focuses 
Or where is it? I think it's like right there somewhere. Well, I don't know if it's getting it. Hopefully it is. I'm not really sure. Should be somewhere there. But there is a wire that goes through that hub through through the scooter, obviously. Um, so I, it would have I would have to open up the hub, which I'm not so comfortable with um, because I'm not used to like e electronical stuff and just like you know playing with it, I guess. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and just ride around in the dirt. I'll show you guys some footage. Like I said, unfortunately I don't have a GoPro right now. Um, I should invest in that. Um, but uh, yeah, for now we're just gonna do it like this. Simple. Uh, let me see if I can get a good angle. I'll probably just put my pack pack right here. So it definitely is a little rough, I would say, but I think that's just what being off-road is all about. Um, like I said, I've, the, these road tires do pretty all right, um, from what I've known, from, from what I can experience so far. Um, I believe people have gotten the road tires, and it just like it has a certain particular noise to it that it makes while it's like whirring on some on the pavement. Well, in there, obviously, you'd be at an advantage. Um, feels pretty good uh, I, I'm kind of like learning how to like balance myself on the bike whereas like if I'm on the dirt or like if I'm on the pavement like going down the street um, if I'm trying to pick up a little bit more speed from like a standstill I would lean forward because I would put more uh, weight on the front motor and let that kind of handle my weight whereas the back motor is kind of just keeping it pushing you know right here on the dirt you can actually keep it back so the so that you can get some traction from the front while the back one is kind of pu pushing your weight but you know as long as you keep balance i guess that's no problem for you if you could do that um yeah besides that i did follow some advice that rk9 did um so the the brake is pretty big i don't know if there's a big difference of the amount of space this takes up like the whole brake thing uh, but obviously like this is not all the way up so it feels a little bit more natural while I'm riding uh, so I guess I have my it's, it's good because like you don't I, I, I tend to brake a little bit more with both brakes but um, so yeah but in an instance where like I'm using this right here and I have my, my hand fully gripped right here the back brake is always available for me to kind of just pull back and obviously the back brake is a lot safer than pulling the front brake uh, at full strength if you need to stop uh, which happened to me on the way here actually um, and um, 
Yeah, someone got in front of me on the street and I was just being on the side, you know, not not like taking up the whole street or even a lane. I was just on the side and they just kind of like pulled into the parking spot. They weren't looking. Part of me kind of just wants to bust like a Casey Neistat and just like where like uh, where the I think it was the co the parking people in New York City when he made that video of like how he got a ticket for being on the bike lane or out of the bike lane. But then he made a video about like so much obstruction that's in the bike lane. I should have just like hopped on that car <laughs> just for the fun for my own for my own entertainment. Uh, but anyways, um, so yeah, um, yeah. Let me know how you guys enjoy this content. Like I said, I will invest in a GoPro uh, just so I can kind of like you know be less handheld. I guess you can see that shake is horrible. But I do have a, a tripod for. Um, my phone as well that I don't have on me since I'm coming off of work I didn't plan this out um, but I was gonna go check out more into like the LA Zoo area yeah that way uh, just because there's a park right there that I like to go to with my dog uh, so I might go there for a bit just to chill out in the grass but I do need to go back home to walk my dog uh, so yeah if you guys have any questions uh, I am connecting with somebody from my last video about how they had the same issue that I had uh, but I believe now that I've thought about it and I'm making a video uh, Yeah, so basically what I'm gonna do what, what I've done I don't know if you've tried it already is like just to fine-tune the brakes to where there's the least um, The least rub because like I said if it's going like on both calipers Like that's the worst part about it is having to tune it where it's like There's less rub, but you know that there's going to be um, but for now uh, if anybody needs a link to that video, I can go ahead and put it in a comment down below. Uh, and yeah, so for now, I mean, I, I'm going to just try to do my own little repair. Uh, hopefully that works. Got these little nets around here. But um, yeah, and if not, then, you know, like it just it's just one experience from like the many that I've gotten this scooter. And, uh, you know, I can only give my honest review and, you know, like my uh my wanting to say something very quickly is like wanting to say three stars um but when i give a review i'll probably go for a four just because like yeah it's been a hassle and i might do a three i mean it's like i said i'm just being honest like i i didn't expect uh it to go that way but i guess you never know when you're getting a new product that's just how it is sometimes um <laughs> yeah someone said that uh that the the, the rotor uh freaking bent because of my weight i think that's the same dude but yeah i don't know it's kind of oh no it was actually a different dude and i was just like how does that work but i don't know i, I don't i can't really can't say uh what's the case because i'm 230 at least or at minimum no less or no more <laughs> but um but yeah that's pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed that little footage of me in the dirt uh if you guys would like me to get a pov of just being around la and stuff like that uh let me know i'm happy to do that and we can invest more time into kind of just being out with the scooter and because regardless i'm just taking it to work i don't have to worry about parking uh they let me have it inside my job and uh, yeah thankfully you know i'm just being grateful for the opportunities right now and uh yeah um as for my plan this like I, like a, and just a quick side note a tangent is that like i never planned to get this scooter in the first place i was actually saving up to get a Ceron. um but in the case where i could take this into work and it's not too big of a nuisance i think this is was the best decision right now for me uh, but I will be planning to do other things electronical, whether that be another scooter or something like that. Uh, and I'm not much of an editor. I'm not going to be like those other guys, like with the voiceovers over the video, you know, for now at least, but I don't, it's not my style. I kind of just like doing these raw videos and, you know, switching between that and maybe putting in some music in the background. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so, but for now, I uh, appreciate y'all for watching if you made it this far. And uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, if not, that's okay. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. 
And uh, yeah, like I said, feel free to let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, I'm based in LA, so I mean, I'm free to like go around, kind of like, I can go from here to Glendale probably on this battery. If you guys want to see that, how that distance is, and I can show you the map of all that. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things you could do. So just uh, let me know if you have any ideas I can work on to get data, data, <laughs> day, <laughs> data on anything. Um, but for now, um, just let me show you my odometer real quick. So we have 62 volts right now on 89%. It actually went uh, went up one more percent. Uh, I don't really know what the time is for. It's changed a couple times. Uh, the trip I've had 34 miles so far. Um, and CHA channel. Uh, I don't really. I forgot what that is. Um, yeah, I need to stop saying. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, enjoy yourselves the rest of the day. And uh, yeah, if you're looking into getting a scooter and replacing a short distance between you and your your work or something like that, I would definitely suggest it. Um, whether if it's your preference to get a scooter or a bike or because i know the super 73 rx came out not too long ago that's definitely an option as well it's not as big as some uh electric motorcycles i guess or a regular motorcycle at that um yeah but a scooter is definitely a good uh, a good investment if you think it you need like foldable space or you know, just it's not as chunky, I guess. <laughs> it's a funny word to say. It's not as uh, spacious, space taking. I don't know. I don't know. What I'm saying. Um, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, so yeah, go ahead and have yourself a good day, and you know, keep doing your research. I was only able to find this by doing like just videos after videos, and you know, you're supposed to just experience stuff like that. Uh, not in terms of like watching videos, but you're supposed to just like make a move and then you learn off of that But I did do some research before that Because um, I like this mantis because it's very simplistic compared to like uh, other decked out ones that I'm not saying there's too much, but I mean look it's pretty simple. It almost looks like a regular scooter It definitely is bigger than I thought it would be um, But now that I've I'm kind of getting used to it. It's you know, it's just the right size. I think and uh, yeah, it's just looking out for those little uh, details when it comes in, is making sure everything's tied down and uh, making sure that your equipment is proper. Um, unfortunately, I'm guessing that, you know, my equipment or, you know, some components weren't at their best uh, quality when I got them. And that's unfortunate, but things like that happen and that just is gonna uh, reflect on my review on it. Um, but yeah, so thank you to everybody helping me out right now. Uh, Mary from Fluid Free Ride for handling the emails, um, the people in the comments from the last video, and then just the viewer that's watching right now. So I appreciate that, and uh, hope you guys have a nice day. See you soon. Peace.